Hey everyone, this is a quick video to show you how to find any email within your Outlook. And this is going to work on the Outlook 365 or any version of Outlook that you're using. And uh, you can find it by subject, by who sent it to you, if it has an attachment. And in the description below, I'm going to put in all of the search criteria that's available for you to go ahead and use. Hey, Vic coming at you here. Welcome back. Please be sure to subscribe. So what you want to do is in Outlook 365, it actually has the search criteria on uh, the top bar in the other outlooks you're going to find it a little bit lower than that top blue bar but it's going to pretty much function the same and um so what you see i've already done here from this here so if you do a from colon not semicolon colon and then you put in anyone's name you could either put in the first name you could put in the last name you put in the first and last however it happens to be it will find that email from that person before I show you the other type of search criteria that there are, you could also do a general search. Like sometimes you don't know if it's in the subject, who it came from, uh, or, or anything. So you can just do a very general search. So I'm going to clear this out. And I'm not going to put in any category. I'm going to put in the word share. I'm going to hit enter. Now this is going to find that word share within any place within that email, whether it's in the subject line or in the body of the text or anywhere. So that's a more generalized search and it doesn't really narrow down to specifically what you're looking for as you need sometimes. So if you want to go ahead and do something like within a subject, like let's say uh, within the subject of, um, within the subject, you know that it had the word think somewhere in there okay so you type that in and you hit enter and it'll bring up all the emails that have the word think in it or also if you want to go ahead and do um has colon attachment okay it will find all emails with an attachment as you can see here it's got the attachments on there so it's a pretty nifty tool to go ahead and do it now here's another thing if you watch my past videos i showed you how to archive your emails because if you see here that these emails expire after about a year depending on your organization so you're gonna also want to go ahead sometimes and do a search not only on your current um subfolders and folders but also in your archive so here's what you're going to do. So if you're going to do current folder, uh, it's only going to search that folder. There. Then you've got the choice to go ahead and do all your subfolders too. By default, I typically do all the subfolders. Also, you can do current mailbox, which is going to hit everything. But just to be on the safe side, you could do all mailboxes. And that's going to go ahead and make sure it hits everything. It's going to hit your archive uh, and all Outlook items. That's going to go ahead and include anything, including meetings, calendar entries, uh, contacts, whatever else that you might have. So with that, I hope it helps. Be sure to check out the description below. I'll put in the other search criteria that you could use on the Outlook. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Mm -hmm.